Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Yo, do fucking none. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego in the back with some more fighting, back with some more boxing. Bow, bow, bow. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Now, Conor McGregor, the outspoken, the notorious, him and Floyd Mayweather, will it happen? Like Mayweather says, we, we just have to wait and see. In the meantime, I told you guys what was happening. The unraveling, Mayweather had did interviews, and he put that, he planted the seed, if you will. And I told you it would later detonate. You guys, the videos are still up. Go check those videos out where I'll talk about Dana White, where Floyd said Dana used to be his bag boy, and why is he making more money than Conor McGregor? Little jabs like that. Conor McGregor is going to start realizing his value, I told you guys, and be like, hey, why is Dana White making more? He'll do fucking none. Why is he making more money than me? Hey, Dana, why is your paycheck bigger than mine? You know what I'm saying? He's going to be questioning, if you will, why that's the case when he's clearly hyping up UFC 205 and all these fights and events. He's clearly a significant factor in the the sales the turnouts for like the weigh-ins and stuff like that i mean conor mcgregor he's the man of the ufc people are, ch are checking for him right he did a, a pay-per-view q a questionnaire with ariel Hawani, and it outsold in attendance the competing ufc card that was on that same night and there's boxing right and i mean that's just a q a and he charged a pay-per-view for it. it was on his website or whatever so I told you guys then too when I made a video about that is that's clearly you're, you're starting to see some dissonance. You're starting to see Conor, McG Conor McGregor rebel against the machine a little bit, right? Because out of all the dates, you put that on the same date as a, a main UFC card. Not only do you do that, but you also go to your social media and brag about how you've outsold for a Q&A. Your pay-per-view is outselling their card and has, has a better attendance. So I think Conor McGregor, he's kind of like realizing his worth and he wants to fight Mayweather. There's a lot of money. And he's basically saying that with or without Dana, this can happen. He believes with the Ali act that they could put the fight together without Dana White. But obviously he says it would be easier with Dana White. Now there's an article, I'm gonna read the quotes from it and it's on worldboxingnews.net. Make sure you guys check it out, linked in the description. And this is what Conor McGregor said regarding a potential Mayweather fight. With the Ali Act, I believe we could put it together without the UFC. I believe I could make this fight without the UFC, but I think it's smoother if we all are involved. Everyone's got to know their place. There's Mayweather Promotions, there's the UFC, and now there's the newly formed McGregor Promotions. His own promotional imprint, right? If they let people fight in jiu-jitsu tournaments, they can let me box. Right now... There's something humongous that needs to be done, and it doesn't really involve them, even though they think it does. We're getting there. It's closing on, on it. This is the first billion dollar fight, right? He says, it's the fight I want. I've got the reach. I got the youth. You can't prepare for a style like mine. I can't wait until we get a date and a go. Let's get this done, right? Floyd has also been on record building up the fight saying I ain't coming back for anybody else Danny Garcia Keith Thurman solid fight but they should be fighting Errol Spence Jr. why is everyone ducking Errol Spence Jr. he's saying the only person I would consider coming back for is Conor McGregor Floyd has already proven what he needs to prove in the boxing circuit so he's trying to put together the biggest events that's why if you look at since pretty much since he defeated De La Hoya and he, he's taken on the moniker money may he fights people off their best wins most of them right ricky hatton undefeated had beat costa zoo and castillo and then he fought against floyd mayweather in vegas and that i think still holds the record for the highest pay-per-view soul in, in britain or uk he fought victor ortiz after he beat undefeated birdo he fought robert guerrero after he beat birdo became a champion interim champion beating celtic Iden. After moving up two weight classes, Madonna Thrash Broner took his O and pulled the upset. Then he fought Madonna, right? 
So a lot of his biggest recent, since Money May, he's fighting a lot of guys off of important wins. Shane Mosley had just knocked out Granite Chin Margarito, and people said Mosley was never in a million years going to beat Margarito. Uh, you look at the Miguel Cotto was coming off the Antonio Margarito, the guy that beat him in the first fight, stopped him. He avenged that loss, got his confidence back. He felt Margarito was cheating in the first fight, so he fought him on an even playing field and finished what Pacquiao started with his eye and closed his eye, ended up stopping Margarito. So that was a high note for Cotto's career to beat and avenge your loss and beat the guy that beat you for your first pro loss, right? So moving forward, he beat Pacquiao. I think he's just kind of looking for the, the fights that are monumental and they're going to be big, huge events. Like, he's already paid his dues. He's like, you know what I mean? Why let these other young cats fight? I'm trying to put together blockbuster cards. And, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's no different. I, I would rather see, I'm telling you, even though Conor McGregor, people keep saying, oh, but Conor McGregor, his boxing record is zero and zero, right? That's fine and dandy. But what would you honestly rather watch? Build up and all. Like fight, build up, Mayweather versus McGregor. In all honesty, aside from obviously Conor McGregor is not a pure boxer. He only has the amateur stuff, zero and zero boxing, all that stupid shit y'all saying, right? Would you rather watch that or Pacquiao, Jeff Horn? Two boxers. I mean, come on, man. What do you think is going to outsell which fight? So a lot of people hating and be like, oh, man, this is a circus. I'm not watching this. You're full of shit. It's a bit, we've never even seen this where two pretty much considered in prime guys who are the biggest names in their respective sports fight each other. Yeah, we've seen like Couture versus like James Tony, like a faded James Tony, stuff like that. But you never really see a boxing MMA hybrid. You see like Ricardo Mayorga after De La Hoya stopped him, Shane Mosley stopped him, etc. And then you see him go over to the MMA or something like that. But when have we seen two guys where there's only one loss between them in the UFC and boxing and they're the biggest names and the most outspoken names in their respective discipline and they fight each other. So a lot of people are full of shit talking about, oh, I would watch this. I would watch this a million times over before wanting to see Pacquiao Jeff Horn just because the world doesn't know enough about Jeff Horn. Pacquiao is not a trash talker and it doesn't look like Jeff Horn really is. So what what is the basis? Like, what are we, at the very least, even if McGregor gets shut out, Floyd does that to everybody. You know what I'm saying? But at the very least, it'll be an entertaining thrill ride while the, they build up the fight and leading up to the fight, right? And at the end of the day, McGregor does have power, right? So, I mean, it, it's no comparison. The bigger event would be clearly McGregor Mayweather. You could put that anywhere. You could put that in Vegas. You could put that in New York. You could put it in Dubai. It'll do numbers. Look at UFC 205 in New York. And imagine Floyd Mayweather coming to New York when he hasn't even fought in New York in I don't know how long, if ever, right? He's fought in Jersey. He's fought in different places, San Francisco. But it's, all those fights were a long time ago. Vegas has been his home. Imagine if McGregor, a high Irish population, and Mayweather someone who doesn't really fight in, in New York recently fought in New York, fought in Vegas. You could fight him, put him in Dubai with a lot of those billionaires and stuff. They'll put up money. And the point being is you could stage that anywhere. Pacquiao, Jeff Horn, you can't, st you can only put that where Jeff Horn is from or where Pacquiao's from, like the Philippines or Australia, because no other market is going to shell out cash for a fight like that, right? So a lot of y'all are full of shit. And saying, oh, I would never watch this. Conor McGregor, he's not a boxer. You would watch it for the spectacle. If you're a fight fan. And if you're not, I don't understand why you're on this video. So, it's a, it's a smart business fight. Most people, rightfully so, aren't giving Conor McGregor a shot. But people still tune in. You know what I mean? People wanted to see Roy Jones Jr. versus Anderson Silva. And this was years ago. And I would have watched that. You know what I mean? Even though it was probably at the time... When it was like really getting talked about, I don't think Roy Jones was Mr. Untouchable. I think he had some losses then. I still would have watched it. This is even bigger because Conor McGregor is reaching his peak in terms of his celebrity. And he avenges Nate Diaz loss. And it's a it's a big fight. Conor McGregor thinks he could do a billion. I mean, it possibly could break the Pacquiao fight just based on the type of fight. And they're already doing a great job of selling the fight and building it up. 
Floyd keeps getting on Showtime and say, oh, I just won McGregor. And then Conor McGregor saying, I'm going to break his face. And back to what I was saying initially, Conor McGregor and the UFC. The UFC, he, he you see Conor McGregor is rebelling. Like, basically, I could get this done with or without you. And I, I'm sure he's smart enough to get the right people on his team to find maybe little loopholes. And he did bring up a solid point. John Jones obviously has his, his demons outside of the octagon, but they're letting him compete in jujitsu tournaments in those tough comp competitions or whatever. So why can't Conor McGregor box? You know what I mean? Just because John Jones is suspended, they're letting him, he's still getting money elsewhere. So if people could do that, then why can't Conor McGregor do something he wants to do? Because it's the UFC trying to baby Conor McGregor and he wants to fight but they don't want to potentially have their cash cow get embarrassed or anything and, and lose some of his earning potential for them. And, and I'm, Dana White's not dumb. He knows it's an uphill battle in boxing rules only for Conor McGregor. But again, at the end of the day, people will pay for it because it's the spectacle. Despite all the people that, oh, I would never watch this. We'll see. If they make the fight, we'll see. We'll see what type of numbers. I guarantee you it'll do at least what like the Canelo fight did like live gate or, or pay-per-view buys trust me and then on, on top of that you also have to look at like race race plays a part in in all of this you guys can shake your head or disagree it does you you have an irish guy from ireland right an irish feller and a black guy from america it's just two different demographics i was just at the leo santa cruz carl frampton fight and the irish came out and turned up so People will pay pay just for that that race aspect of it, right? You know what I'm saying? Who would win? And um, people could pick sides. Not not even just like race, but also countries. You know what I mean? UK, Ireland versus America. People pay for that. That sells. Stuff like that sells. Not to mention you have two fighting sports premier trash talkers. The fight will sell. You know what I'm saying? And I would be anxious to see what each person says about the other person. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Conor McGregor has his own promotional company, and he's, he's basically starting to align himself with the fight. Will it happen? I don't know. I, again, I don't know exactly what his contract stipulates with the UFC, but it looks like this is actually something that could come into fruition. Again, check the link in the description for the full article and the pull quotes that I use for this video. Make sure you guys share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.